Coming on the right of the pitch of the challenge, Topher, Groon in fourth place, Chantiotti in fifth place, and Royce Star over on the right, and it's Heimeld over on the far side, Rebo on the right, Rebo on the right, who's gone to the front now, Rebo takes it up by a length from Heimeld, Topher is in third place, Groon in fourth place, and it's Rebo, the Italian champion, is on the hot, racing to the fourth victory, and his fourth is going to be scored now, Rebo rebound, Rebo on the chin, striding over on that. Rebo winning there by five lengths at odds of five to two on. His career record was 16 wins from 16 starts. More spectacular was Lijinsky, cruising like a Rolls Royce under the magical guidance of Nesta Payne. Being on the home straight now with Caliban being pressed by Calabas. Hope nothing between these two. Lijinsky's just in behind Calabas. Blake is over on the far rails. Krumpelan is beginning a run. And it's Caliban over on the far side being pressed by Calabas. And here comes Lijinsky and Lester Bigger towards the start side with Hogarth making ground over on the far side now. They're coming into the final further. And it's Lijinsky striding away from him. Lijinsky going away. Being chased by Blake now. It's the two Derby winners who look like being first and second. Lester Bigger looks over his shoulder. Let me make it run on him, but let's take just letting him canter. What a horse this is, he's trotting up. The Jets is the one I think in second. Jensky beating top class rivals there with insolent ease. He remained unbeaten, of course, until the after film. A year later, it was the turn of Mill Reef, smaller in stature, but in horse terms, a perfect athlete. It's Ortiz. Ortiz now from Politico and Mill Reef and the Sheepskin Nose Band coming there very strongly and being chased by Climatization and Stintino coming there towards the outside. It's Ortiz, Mill Reef and Climatization and Stintino but Mill Reef striking the front now as they race towards the Furlong Pole. It's Mill Reef being chased by Climatization and Stintino. They're racing into the final 150 yards and it's Mill Reef clear of Ortiz. Then comes the Climatization and Stintino. They're racing up towards the line already getting a tremendous reception from the crowd. The Derby with a stepped up, it's Mill Reef, the fantastic winner of the game dog, second in order, he's a moment for third. Mill Reef third one, Mike Nijinsky did go on to win the three the last third round. A year later again, it was the turn of the four-year-old Brigadier Girard, although a mile and a half was probably beyond his best distance. On the left of the straight now, it's Parnell from Brigadier Gerard, and Brigadier Gerard will have to stay now to pick back Parnell as they come to the two further marker. It's Parnell when he casts the two first from Brigadier Gerard. Then Mark can sense another triumph for the Brigadier. River Man's coming to the great round towards the outside, but the Brigadier has taken it up as they hit the third on pole. It's Brigadier Gerard from Parnell, then comes the opposing River Man towards the near side. But it's Brigadier Gerard from Parnell, and then he's up towards the line. Brigadier Gerard to make it 15 out of 15. Brigadier Gerard winning there in record time, although in the end it was probably only his courage that carried him through. And then came the 80s and the brilliant and spectacular Shergar. Even if his win here didn't have quite the spectacular value of his 10 lengths win in the derby. It's Master William with the advantage over Light Cavalry. Walter Swinburne slips through on the rails on Shergar. But it's Master William with the advantage. Madame Gay coming there strongly on the stand side. Shergar making round over on the far side now. Raising down towards the Berlin Pole and Shergar, the three year old, burst through to take it up on the far side. It's Shergar now from Madame Gay. Master William Pinders Gay put him in a good run. But as they race into the closing stages, Shergar lets it in his stride. He's going to put it into a the style. Shergar Striding up the line for Madam Gay and Pickles Gay, but at the line, Shergar wins it. Madam Gay and Pickles Gay for the purple of the Shergar winning at 5 to 2 on, a relentless galloping machine. And then finally, three years ago, we had the great Dancing Brave, another horse who perhaps was stretched to stay the trip. Coming down to the two furlong pole, Diaz down from Shadastani, and here comes Dancing Brave on issue a run towards the stand side. Shadastani is under pressure, Chadali has moved into the lead over on the far side, and Dancing Brave is coming there with a double handful. And it's Pat on Dancing Brave from Shadali, Tripti just moving into third. If they 